Halt. It's the chromosome police. What the ah! I think I've just broken my penis. Cock. <sighs> 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 By this point, I had no idea either. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to another video. And in this one, I thought, you know, why don't I do this? I mean, it could be a little bit pointless, but I thought, why not? Why don't I express my opinion on these things? So in this video, we're going to go over five settings that wouldn't work in Assassin's Creed. Now, these, of course, will only feature settings that haven't yet been tried in Assassin's Creed because I mean there's always that chance that Assassin's Creed could go to these locations or settings or whatever which would probably not be the best. This will of course be barring the future because that's just silly and of course the video will be swayed to my opinion so if you disagree or have more to add then please go ahead and get involved in the comments. So without further ado let's begin. Now, to start off with, we have got the First World War. Now, this probably wouldn't work for Assassin's Creed. We got a little bit of a preview of what it could be like in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but that was more of a hint towards them not actually intending to do it. Which is probably for the best, considering as an assassin, being in the First World War, probably in the trenches and stuff, isn't necessarily the most ideal place to be. I can imagine that it'll be very battle-heavy, and there's a high chance of dying that even an assassin can't evade and it would just seem like more of a survivalist thing that everybody's going through rather than just the assassin. And the history being at battle while what's probably going on with the assassin and etc probably more going on in cities as is the way with an open world game like Assassin's Creed, it just wouldn't work. Then there are of course the excessive use of guns to account for as well which again probably wouldn't help with the Assassin's Creed feel and it just wouldn't feel like Assassin's Creed. Please forgive the fact that I didn't do the World War II sequence for this, but I have to make these videos every day, so please understand. However, World War II, although it'd probably work a little better than the First World War, I would still don't think it would be an ideal setting for Assassin's Creed. I'm not the biggest fan of more modern settings, is the simple answer for all of these really. And too modern is too away from what got me hooked to Assassin's Creed back in the good old days. I've also played plenty of games set in the Second World War, I'm not really a big fan of the feel. Although the Second World War is full of interesting historical things, it just feels as if it's a little bit too modern, too close to the modern day, and it relies too heavily on guns again, and I'm not a big fan of guns in games. Or at all, why would you be? With this one, Ubisoft could probably just about get away with it. However, I wouldn't necessarily be the biggest of fans in the run-up at least. The Wild West. Now, for reasons similar to the previous two, I feel as if the Wild West is too close to the modern day for Assassin's Creed and again relies too heavily on guns. However, the Wild West is a lot more outback sort of style, meaning that there's not as much going on civilization-wise when it comes to cities and stuff like that, which Assassin's Creed thrives on for its parkour experience, meaning that the parkour experience will be somewhat limited unless the Assassin has adapted to climbing cacti. In a lot of respects, the setting isn't bad, however, I don't think we're going to see an Assassin's Creed in Texas as cowboy anytime soon. Just text me when you know I am right. Now, modern day is huge in Assassin's Creed, however, a fully modern day setting would break that contrast between the modern day and the historical setting, and it wouldn't have any of that historical interest that were in the other games. It would take away from the Assassin's Creed feel in a very big way. And as a result, in my opinion, I don't think that an Assassin's Creed set fully in the modern day would really work at all. And I mean, if you want to see what Assassin's Creed would be like in modern day, the closest experience would probably be Watch Dogs. And although the modern day needs to make a full return to Assassin's Creed, I don't feel as if a fully modern day Assassin's Creed game would be able to sustain itself as Assassin's Creed and probably would create its own feeling entirely. And finally, a fully first civilization or first civilization setting would almost be as ridiculous as a future setting in space where you kill Krogan. I feel as if a first civ setting would be too focused on this historical period that didn't happen 
that it would feel like exaggerated fiction as opposed to actual history that you're reliving with a sort of flick. Which is what I love about Assassin's Creed is the subtle flicks in their story that makes it feel like history but different. With this I feel as if it would just feel like fantasy fiction as a whole. And I've seen comments of people saying that they'd like to see this but I can 100% guarantee that when this happens, if it does, Ubisoft would have lost their minds. Because this setting, not too dissimilar from the modern day setting idea, would just not feel like Assassin's Creed. At least not for me. But there you have it everybody, 5 settings that wouldn't work, or 5 potential settings that wouldn't work in Assassin's Creed, in my opinion, and for obvious reasons I would hope. Now this list video was quite limited so please bear that in mind that I do believe a lot of settings Ubisoft have fair shots at so there are always going to be opportunities for a more unique setting. But in my opinion at least more modern settings and a first Civ setting definitely wouldn't work in the future that's just a joke isn't it? But anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed be sure to go ahead and leave a like subscribe share comment tell your friends about this video and this channel and I'll see you all in the next one with another video at some point soon so yeah so yeah